Okay, I am just praying that everything works as normal, um, given that OBS has had some problems today. But okay, it's good. We're live. I can see you. Can see me. All good. Nice. Was your hair always that long? I don't remember. Uh, I just haven't cut it in a very long time. It just, <laughs> it just gets out of control. It's been quite a while since we did the CEA thing. It's been a long time since I casted any. Like the last time I did any Dota was like back when Ricky had Death Ward and you had to buy your own courier. So, Ricky yeah, had Death. Very, very That's, long time. Yeah, I don't think that reference is a little bit lost than most people playing. Um, Five. Yeah, Ricky. Oh, and then surely most people remember buying the courier, right? The courier. Well, I remember buying the courier. You had to buy the flying courier yeah. upgrade like three minutes into the game. Uh, then bottle crowing became oh, annoying yes. because your mid was always hogging the courier, but you needed the courier. But then you had a side shop, and oh, it was it's a different game. Yeah. Death Ward Ricky is just a thing that everybody says on Reddit. I don't say that. Yeah, it, but, if you look far enough in the patch notes, you can find it in like a really random footnote of a Dota 5.0 in Warcraft yeah. 3 or something. So yeah, it's it's very long. I still want to see ago. Gambler come back. I actually had the idea of like Gambler, they redesigned for him, a new hero, and one of his abilities will be stealing gold on attack on a cooldown. And they just gave it a bounty hunter. Took the my idea straight from my head. <laughs> well, the old Gambler was... I think, it, if I remember it correctly, you had to random it. You couldn't pick it. So it was, it was obviously, it was a time when the game wasn't trying to be as competitive. But uh, anyway, if we have a look at some of these picks and bans, you've obviously not been looking at Iron Houses for a while, though you may know what's going on in the pro Dota. scene. I've been playing Dota okay. and what's in Dota. But... Right. Well, one thing that has been true, I don't know how long the streak is, but Spirit Breaker has been banned first phase every single in house for maybe two, three months now. You can't play Spirit Break. It's not possible. It's always banned. Always ban it. First ban. And that's the hero who's always first picked in its place. I, Weaver. I never I never in my whole life thought that Spirit Breaker would be a contested pick. And I've been playing this game since 2013. Never thought it would happen. But then clearly yeah. we're in a we're in a messed up hero in 2022. Nothing's right. Yeah, Spirit Breaker is one of those heroes that you have to be careful of balancing it if you're a developer because he is so easy to dominate a pub with because you just click on things. But then he can be quite useless in the pro scene. So if you make him good in the pro scene, he just tears through pubs, which is kind of what's happened. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a difficult situation, Spirit Breaker. But, oh, Ollie, redeemed Rainbow Warrior. That's been a long time. Forgot I even uh, had that functionality. Um, I actually need to wait until I'm on the normal scene to show you. There we go. Rainbow Warrior! Oh. Just for you, Ollie. Rainbow Warrior. Yeah, and that's a that's from a dying game. So Heroes of New Earth, you cannot make new accounts on Heroes of New Earth now. Oh, and I think it's shutting its servers in June or something like that. So um, yeah, I'll be the only stream left on Earth still with the God, Rainbow Warrior. <laughs> God bless Dota 1.5. I mean, you got you got you got to respect it. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean... that's, that's a good name for it. But do you know what was quite weird is um, obviously everyone moved from Han to Dota because why wouldn't you? Han is terrible. Or it is now anyway. Um, but all Han did is they copy pasted every change that happened in Dota to Han. I don't know if they were allowed to I do that, but think they did. Icefrog worked on it in its earliest earliest days back it's true. when they were first designing Icefrog. I started to do it, and then as soon as he left, they went off the rails. Yeah, but they were think... called. They were called S2 Games. Um, I think they rebranded to Frostburn Studios or something. Uh, all the other way around, I can't remember. But yeah, he did work on the early heroes, the really cool heroes. Um, and then they just put in stupid heroes. And now you can play a beaver with a sword and a shield and things like that. So, I don't know. That's that anyway. Um, Grimstroke so line, they've gone for two supports. Weaver, usually played in support as well these days. Probably by... I'm not sure which player actually is going to play. So, like, okay, um, I, I got out of the loop on the Weaver support. I know Weaver's Axe is unbelievable, and, like, and that's mm. been sl slept on for, like, 50 years. I know the Swarm is, like, good, but is that, like, it? <laughs> well, I think it's the it's just the general harassment and trading in lane. Sukuchi is starts at 100 damage, low cooldown. Geminate attack is a free double hit, which obviously doesn't cost any mana. And then the Swarm is so powerful. I think the idea is you all in them with the Swarm, put the Swarm in, go straight on top of them, try and kill them while they're still killing the bugs, and uh, then, yeah, you get Ags later on, and that's basically it. <laughs> so I've been, that... like, I've been waiting for Ags to become viable as like a first pickup for Weaver's whole life. The first few times I bought that thing went Weaver offlane, rush Ags, because Eric Wright, of all people, told me to. Remember, they remember that oh, old yeah. name. And <laughs> like you just save your teammates, just carry your game if you can farm that thing. Beautiful. Well, the funny thing about the Aghanims is when they brought it in, obviously, like you said, everyone um, everyone slept on it. Looks like I have a black eye. Do I have a black eye? I don't oh, know. I see. I, mm. oh, did, I, did I hit it's myself in the face? The without? It was the hair. Was it? Oh, well, obviously school went a bit harsher than I thought it was. Thanks for the for the follow. Um, anyway, the, the Weaver Aghanims started with a thousand cast range. 
That was ridiculous. They nerfed it to 600, and then they nerfed it again to 500, and yet it is still good. And people just say, well, I'm going to buy Aether Lens then. So, and what? Yeah. So, I don't know what they're going to do with the axe. Will they make it 400 cast range, or will they change I, the cooldown? I honestly think they'll rework it. Um, like, it's mm. so cool, but, like, it's just absolutely busted, and people slept on it their whole lives. Um, yeah. I'll just come up with something different. I wonder, cool yeah, idea. reworking. I don't, it's such a cool Aghanims, yeah. but... Will they rework it? Yeah, it's a good question. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, as you can see, this has been the drafting meta for a while in Iron Houses. Quite safe. Uh, four supports, two from each team. So not really revealing a lot at the moment. And I'm not sure which core is the most popular. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Wraith King is fairly popular at the moment. Definitely he's had some success. I mean, I have a thing against Lion Pickers because I'm... I mean, I'm in, I'm in the Dota trenches. I belong there. But um, yeah, people that pick Lion have only done so because they needed to play support, and they oh. will just, they will just like mess up your game. But Lion Grimstroke, think of all the spells you can do for the game. It's so much fun. That, that almost hits a bit too close to home because if you look at my um, Dota buff, it's all cores. There's just a lion in there, and yeah. it's like every time I needed to play support, I went for lion. Well, so. if, if you know support fundamentals, you can do it. Lion, lion has four spells, all of which are pretty easy to use. I just see a lot of mm. people that don't want to be there at all, have never tried it in their lives, and will just rush Blink and Ags on P5, which is just great, you know? Yeah, I think I think Blink you have to go on Lion, but Ags. No, I hate seeing a support Ags on on Lion because Every you need game. you've got to get um you know there's Glimmer Kates, four staffs. You've got so many items as well you can buy on Lion if if needed, right? And people just go Ags, and I'm like, yeah, you've got three Finger of Death charges at 35 minutes. We don't need your Aghanims, thank you. <laughs> but and like yeah. I, I thought Lion's Shard was crap until I played with it, and I'm like, I can now mana oh, drain great. you, and you can't do anything to me. Yeah, just the That's BKB effect and... is almost good enough. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It does so many things. Magic Immune and three target drain. It's incredible. Yeah, I really love that um, that shard. Definitely slept on as well. So Slardar's going to be their first pick. Slardar Grimstroke, it's a, it's a fairly um, scary lane. And you've you've got stun, stun, stun. Slardar's the hero your teammates pick when they don't want to play off lane and they got procured into it. So, you <laughs> well, know, that's the team we got. One player that wants to play and two that don't. I quite... Slardar is really interesting because you kind of get away with it because... You have to play off lane, but you don't really want to play like Tidehunter or Timbersaw or anything like that. You want to play a core, but you're not a core. So you go Slardar and you can kind of be a right clicking core while secretly disguising yourself as an off laner. So yeah, Slardar's definitely if, like... If you know what you're doing. Yeah, I like Slardar. I actually Slardar. quite like Slardar. Yeah. Slardar's neat. I've got to give him that. Axe is I... a lot more classic. My guilty pleasure on Slardar is to rush Axe and just run around in puddles. I don't even care if it's not that good. Oh, the Agonims used to, the Axe and Slardar used to be really popular. And yeah, I love it when you're pushing high ground and you just turn their entire lane into a, into an ocean and you just kind of chill, just vibing in your puddle, like you said. But then people stop building Axe and Slardar. I think they just went classic BKB, Blink, that kind of boring stuff, maybe Armlet. But yeah, I like the Agonims. It was really cool. I think, was it 40% status resistance on the puddle? Something like that. Also, just the regen. I could just sit there for my whole life. True. It was good regen as well. Yeah, I like the puddle thing. Yeah, it was, it was cool. The shame. When Underlord was a hero. I remember. It was in every game. That had like 55% yeah. win rate and it stayed there for like three or four patches. I, I, saw this, I saw this hot take on Reddit and I'm going to take it as my own. Um, his axe is garbage. Make that his ultimate. Let him port people across the map. Because his ult's kind of boring. It's good, but like... Eh. Oh, swap the, swap the, the Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. And, oh, that's really clever, actually. I want him to portal his teammates. That is like... cool. So the portal was what? Like, was it up to 4,000 cast range? And you can all jump through it. Like Medivh from Heroes of, Heroes of the Storm. Portal on each end. Yeah. Really long the jump. The only time you've ever seen the portal is in Aghanim's lab room from that room with the Underlords. Those are the portals. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. But I, I quite like, yeah, it's a really cool effect, but you can't buy it, you can't justify an Aghanims, but if you had the old otherwise, that'd be great for engaging, you know, throw your Earthshaker into the enemy team. I mean, I think it's got some potential. Yeah, I like that. It's a good take. I'm I mean, pretend like, it's yours. Here's the thing, is that, like, we're all thinking, like, oh, what sensible things are they going to do for this patch? What buffs and nerfs are they going to do? But whenever it goes this long without a patch, we get stuff like 7.20 um so it's not going to be a normal patch it's going to be like they're going to come up with something just ridiculous and mm. new and you're not even going to have thought of it coming and actually it's going to like everybody thought oh let's just nerf 
I remember the patch where Sven was OP with the dispel, yes. and everyone was like, oh, just make that a 25 talent. And the next patch, like, actually added Aghanim's shards, and no one could have seen that coming. And then that's where that... Oh, happened. yeah, the so, um, like, the dispel talent became his shard, yeah. yeah. So, oh, like, Aghanim's shard was added it's, there it's completely. It's been long enough that, like, the next patch is not just going to be a patch. It's going to be something stupid. It's, it's good... going to be the next huge one. That's a good point. We've been waiting for ages, and loads of things came out of the blue. Like, no one predicted things like... Oh, thanks for the 24 bits. Um, no one predicted things like Aghanim's Shard. Like, we have Ags, but this random kind of shard that gives no stats, yeah. but you can buy it 20 minutes. No one thought that was coming. Neutral items with another slot. I mean, we, we, we've waited for so long. How long is it? 23rd of February? Those were both the post-TI patches, although one of them <laughs> kind of cheats because one of them wasn't really post-TI because TI didn't happen. But those were both the big patches that fit into that slot so like the next one's gonna be as big and i we, would like we're it we're just gonna see what it is you know we're not gonna see i i would like it i think it'd be cool if if they didn't just do a load of you know boring stat changes but yeah they added in some kind of new mechanic and, and reddit's gonna hate it well <laughs> that's good we'll see we'll see what happens i did predict the wraith king wraith king slada you've yeah. gone for an all-in physical damage comp wraith king gets the armor look deso slada puts a minus armor on you wraith king one shots your support no problem uh, Medusa is actually really great with Weaver though I feel because yes. you go really hard on the Medusa you try to kill you burn all her mana Weaver resets the Medusa to full HP and mana you're never going to kill her so uh, yeah I think that's there's some good good potential for a Medusa game here we'll see what happens both teams have some minus armor you've got Venge Weaver on one team you've got Slardar on the other so when are they going to pull the last bit of mana drain out of because I don't think Lion's good enough. You Lion like stands no. next to Medusa and mana drains and he just dies in two seconds. So go set to mana drain. Out? <laughs> yeah, I mean you have you have Invoker banned. Um, it's not like there's going to be an anti mage pick. So what are they stuff banned? Is sort of left? They ban Invoker them. So I guess both cores don't want to be mana burned in the early game. You, like you said, you're not going to go anti mage or Nyx assassin. Can you fit Nyx into lineups? Not really. You need a mid hero from both teams. Yeah, the main mana burning here is a gone. Definitely the Invoker ban made sense. I wonder what's left then. It doesn't have to be. Oh, do you know what you can do? This is not really the greatest way to play the hero, but it's funny. Windranger mid who goes Diffusal Blade. Yes, you don't do any damage oh. to anybody else, but you destroy Medusa's I mana. Do love, I do love Uncanny Diffusal Blade, but like, yeah. Ursus is gone as well, so like, yeah. the big Diffusal Blade candidate's gone. Ricky I mean, mid? No, you don't want another core when you've got oh, Wraith King Asada. You've always just got to have fun with Ricky. They're going to go Puck. Okay, fairly straightforward hero. You know, Decay's really good at it. No problem. So we're just playing 4 Protect 1 Medusa. Very yeah, cool. pretty Love much. Pretty much. Put, well, that's great. Put the Dream Core down. Medusa runs in. Right clicks everyone to death. Axe calls them. It's great. You've got Swap. Loads of control. Loads of stun. Minus armor. Yeah, fine. I like the Radiant lineup. Really nice. Generally, I... Uh, maybe it's my intuition going in, but I see a Medusa team comp and I think... They're probably going to win, partly because not many people are very good at always shutting it down. If you don't shut it down, you're done. Yeah, you're done. the annoying thing is, you're, you, you, like you said, you have to shut down Medusa, but then she's a ranged hero, so it's quite hard to completely bully a ranged Although, hero out of lane. Heaven's Halberd, five seconds. Oh, in the I yeah, mean, sure, mid game, Slardar yeah, can take that. yeah, Slada should get that definitely. And then, oh, okay, interesting. They so finish off with TA. Yeah. TA good I against Puck. I think they're playing for Bash. Well, Tia's quite good against Puck because of the kind of no, low damage over time until the Witchblade. So you can block yeah. a lot of damage. You don't really take much. I think they're just going for an early mid game, bash people down. That's two more sources, two more sources of minus armor. A lot of physical damage burst. Yeah. A line who'll just like kill people at six. I think they just want to play quick and make it happen. The which is probably good against Medusa. Yeah, the amount of minus armor on the Dire team, like you said, TA brings, I think, minus eight armor from Meld. Uh, then there's a Mel talent sort of for more minus armor later on. Sardar goes from 10 up to, I think, 24 with the talent or something like that. I mean, there's so much minus armor on the Dire team. Anybody they put it on, they can one-shot. Puck has zero base armor as well. So if Puck doesn't, you know, do all her evading, gets one little stun, it's over for Puck. So, yeah, this is this is going to be... It could go either way. But I want to see people being one-shot. That's, that's our aim this game. That's what we're on the lookout for. All right, we do have some player cams, thanks to uh, Karen for saving us. We're also Roids. Let's start those. I w so like I was rewatching, um, I was rewatching um, Dragon's Blood with my, with my boyfriend. Watch it for the f uh, he he's watching it for the first time, and literally the episode ended about t a minute before I was due to come. So quick turnaround, off we go. Oh, well, that was good timing then. Awesome. You know, um, I just got to time that. He came just on time. Perfect. Very good. Uh, thanks, Ollie, for the thirteen month resub. It's been a long time. <laughs> 13 months. I can't believe so many people are hitting over the year mark now. 
I um, think I remember doing these in-houses just as the lockdown was starting. Remember we, we first went into lockdown. People started talking about coronavirus. No one really knew what it was. And then the, the first lockdown order started uh, started happening. Everybody was free the whole time because, you know, either you weren't working or you're working at home. Everyone started playing Dota. We had in-houses almost every single day for like a month. And um, yeah, the RTC spray. And there, yeah, that's where the in-houses started. So a long time ago now. Time moves on. I mean, back back then, I thought I could make a career in casting. Um, then I then I just realised I could use my computer science degree and work in an, in an office or at home. Um, yes, but I... hey, it's fun. It's a curiosity, and I still love being here. It's been a long time. Yeah, I've got a computer science degree too. Don't worry, I'm putting mine to use. We've uh, got quite a few computer scientists around. We are the nerdiest of nerds, though, so it does make sense. Right, no first blood shenanigans. That veteran is playing it. Look how safe the radiant team are playing. Two of them are hugging the towers. Well, I mean, the producer doesn't want to see anyone for the next 20 minutes. True, but they. Lime up top is in, probably in trouble here. Oh, yeah, someone's taking a lot of damage. Okay, Karen has gone for Inkswell. Fortunately, uh, you know, just gets them away, but no proc. No stun. I mean, the axe now, in retrospect, is a really awful pick that's just going to die all game with the three sources of minus armor. Oh, yeah, two um, base armor. <laughs> I feel like axe, like, with all of that minus armor, is going to die. You get 30 armor when you berserk is cool, but that is his only window of safety. After that, you're right. Maybe you just go blade mill and hope that the enemy team are going to die to it. I mean, that's all I can think of. We'll see. Juju on his TA is going to be hard but Kate, but Kate's a very, very experienced player as well. So we'll see what happens in the mid lane. Already holding a sentry on the puck, really early sentry. I mean, the, 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 the truly best worst thing about this meta is the sentry war. Um, I cannot wait for something to happen about the sentry war. You both go in, block each other's camps, and in both supports are basically just playing about, playing their own game of blocking each other's camps in time. Yeah, well, but I don't think they'll stop sentries um, blocking camps because that's no. been a part of Dota for ages. But what will they do? You think they'll delay the the sentry start or maybe, maybe just maybe just lower the stock, make them a bit more expensive. Make it so we can't just like relentlessly drop them all over the jungle and spend like hours doing that. Eventually, you run out and you actually have to play the game again. Maybe it's the amount they'll change because I I mean. If you've seen the way the game has been going for so many years, they continually make it cheaper and cheaper to play a support. But I maybe they can just reduce the amount of sentries. Or, yeah, start with less in stock. Definitely agree with that. Or even, like, just 75 gold is not, like, a huge jump. But, like, it just it means you maybe dedicate a bit less of your time. I would agree, but I, I feel it's unlikely that they'll change the sentry cost. Maybe sentries will give 25 gold when you deny them or something. I'm not, uh, you, you know, deward them. I'm not sure. Oh, that will drive people insane. But, but make them cost 25 gold more instead, yeah. so you have to deward them. The dude's strong bot's gonna get ink swelled. Oh, we've got a few people oh. uh, in trouble. Yeah, Karen's gonna be okay. Oh, the snake bounces. Karen is fine. Big bashes from Jabate Mill. Finally, the mana shield goes on. I remember when, I remember when that stole mana. Oh, is that gonna be a kill? Yeah, Ken is fighting a lot of damage. One more stun for Jabate Mill. No, he needs it. Yes, he does get it. The long spear gets the kill. Oh, under the tower. Yeah, just really wanted that bash. Not sure it was worth uh, two tower hits, but maybe it was. Who knows? I don't think Medusa's going to get the easiest lane in the world here. Um, uh, for a while, at least. I mean, I'd be running off to the three dungeons. last hits, though. Yeah, you're right. This is not an easy lane. I'm surprised it's, it's so hard, but I guess you can be run down by the Slardar, so you've got to be really careful. Yeah, I would just run to the jungle in, like, five minutes and just you know, play, play the game there for a bit. Sure, level up, split shot a little bit, and then you're gone. Maybe even from now, only max the split shot. By about level six or seven, you'll have it uh, at high enough rank. Take some ancient stacks. Oh, they're going on that in the top lane. He's going to take a bit of damage. He does have his stun. Is he going to throw it out? He's really trying to kill the bug. See, this is why it's so strong. You kill the bug, uh, but then you're dead. It's too late. No Sakuchi. Nice stun by somewhat. One more right click. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. He's not going to die. He's not going to do it. Not going to die to Battle Hunger. He's one more right click. There's Sakuchi. That dies. See, that's the thing when you play a hero like Wraith King. Really high damage, but the bugs don't care. For some reason, no matter how hard you hit them, they still take four hits to die. And by the time he killed them, he was dead. I've always had a hatred for Wraith King in the sense that I know what's good about him. It feels like 90% of games I watch a Wraith King, he doesn't get off the ground. Um, even though like he has this amazing kit. Feels like he either snowballs or dies. He's got uh, he's, he's quite unique as a strength hero with a built-in farming um, mechanic. Because obviously, I remember Wraith King back in his old all-passive days. 
But now he has uh, now he has these skeleton summons, which mean that he can farm the jungle so quickly, like scaringly, scarily quickly. Someone's in trouble. That lion is done. Oh yeah. Well and truly. You see the damage that comes out from the weaver when you have the one one one. The cute team for 100 damage. Geminate attacks a double hit uh, for free. And then, yeah, the bugs. Really hard you for a lion to kill. Do you all know the best era for Wraith King was Active Mortal Strike, where you stole half the health? Oh, yeah, that was a really, really short patch that lasted about... That was great. Like, one month, and they, they thought, no, 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 just, no, we don't want that, we don't want that. And then the skeletons came, and I think that's pretty much what he's had the entire time. But they moved the skeletons to the W to be oh, a life seal. Yeah, it was, it was one of the biggest buffs ever when they made the crit reliable. Every few I like reliable crits. Um, you've got things like uh, Jinada as well. Um, I don't know anyone else who's got reliable crits, but yeah, I've always been a fan of reliable crits because it, it, uh, Chaos Knight had it for a short time, I think, and they took it away. Um, but I think it, it makes laning more fun. Yeah, and that's killing the bug. They're killing the bug together. See, there you go, teamwork. But that's taking a lot of damage. Nice call by Timmy. Guess what? Those skeletons just provide more spins, but only one spin? Nah, two spins. It's going to be enough. Do not summon skeletons against Axe. <laughs> He will love it. We're having a we're having the classic um, pull into the enemy, spotting it down. But Medusa is being given a quite a bit of space under this tower. Um, Kind of surprised, will probably happily die for the Medusa a few times. Weaver E is technically a crit, says so Ollie. Well, not really. I yeah. guess it, it's bonus damage, but it's yeah, not a crit. It, it doesn't it scale. Can crit. It can crit. Oh, well, it's, so double, it's, it's not a crit. It's a double hit, actually, what Ollie's saying. It's at least a double hit. That is kind of like a crit, so that's actually a good point. And I think you can say goodbye to your life, Kinder. Oh, absolutely destroyed. Level 4 on Karen. Double ink swell. Two ranks ink swell. Very powerful. Yeah, lane is harder than I thought, actually, um, for the Medusa team. We'll have to see what happens. Is there another? I'm still thinking there's another hero who has some kind of... Uh, uh, on-demand crit that you can click. I know we've got Weaver with the double hit. I, I can't think if there's I, anyone I, else. I, 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 I'm going to have to go to the Dota 2 wiki here. I think at some point we'll have, we'll have a look at it at some point. Ooh, a lot of damage and being done to Puck. Ollie gets to it first. I, think it's a race. I like the Weaver one, actually, because you're right. You can crit with both procs of Gemini attack, but it's at least a double hit at the very minimum because it will fire a second attack. So, yeah, potentially to do a lot of damage there. Does Dawnbreaker count? Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's different. It's more. That's more like Slardar Bash now. You don't get to use it on demand, but you uh, you have a crit that you know when it's coming. So I guess it's yeah. It's in the second category. Like Slardar's Bash is very different to Spirit Breakers because Spirit Breakers you never know when it's going to happen apart from first hit every time. Yeah, apart from that. Apart from that time. Apart from the first time, then yeah, then you don't know. Um, here's a, this could be a hot take, but um, the other the other wish that I'd like to have that we're actually probably going to do by like removing it entirely because it's a crazy patch on the way. Uh, oh, Puck might die mid before I get here. Really? What? Oh, Double no. damage on Puck? Oh, Taking no. a bit of damage dream coil? No. I, un I underestimate Pucks. Um, something needs to be done about Silver Edge. That I am crazy. Well, oh, there's a massive fight happening top lane because there was a rotation from Karen. I think they're going to get a kill on Royce. No, they're not because he's a cooch. He's yeah. away. He gives him 550 move speed. Haste for four seconds. He is such a hard support to kill. Um, yeah. Valve have never been able to balance Silver Edge. Well, they, keep, they, ch they change it every patch pretty much. I mean, obviously it's always given break. It's always been uh, like lower yeah. cooldown. Fine. But it, it had, a, uh, what is it called? Echo Saber part of it, which yeah. made it rubbish for ranged heroes. I was quite a big fan of that. Bye-bye, Lion. Well, have a oh, look at the top lane now, I think. Oh, no, the Inkswell doesn't get the stun, though. Tim is just running around doing whatever he wants. Kinder comes in. He has rank 2 stun, but I don't know if he's got the range to get the stun off. He sees Nat. He goes in for the stun on that. I think he has to. He's going to take too much damage. Now, we've also got rotation from the puck. Dream call. Dream call cancels TPs. Massive ult from Tim. There's the kill on Wraith King. Four heroes. There were seven heroes in the top lane, actually. Four on the Radiant, three on the Dire. The Radiant get one kill. Royce has been seen. Of course, Slard are actually pretty good against uh, against the Weaver. Oh, no, Royce in trouble. No, Royce is fine. I strongly disagree with Ollie here. Um, I think it might be a joke, but Meld is not a crit. It's fixed damage. Yeah, me me Meld is it's one attack, and you have to pay mana for it. And I'm talking about ones you don't have to pay mana for, really. But also, it's not a crit. It adds base damage to it. So yeah, it's it doesn't just, even, not even close. It's a harder hit. I mean, the minus arm part of Meld is, is basically the best part there. The fact that you can sit in stealth is a, a nice a nice plus. Disjointing things, actually, that's really nice. But we'll see. 
We'll see what the TA can do. TA obviously leading the farming chart, but surprisingly, the Medusa has really caught up. And I think Tim thought that he could fight Slada, but uh, Slada just needs to go in for a bash. Look at their damage. I think he's overlaid the stuns a little bit. Easy kill for, for Debate Mel. Axe really has to be careful. This is going to be Axe's game for the rest of it. Is now we can't taunt people because his armor is going to be reduced to mush. Yeah, I mean, even with uh, plus 30 armor, he might still die. <laughs> That's the really sad thing. Oh, Jemima's yeah. got the stun. Does he have to follow up stun? Doesn't have any mana. He's just going to stand there. I need to kill the bug, though, quick. The bug's eating away at his health. He's got Urn of Shadows on him as well. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. 11 health regen. He's fine. Just about. I mean, Jebate Mel has just been taking so many free kills. 3 0 2 now. Thank you, Helm of Iron Will. Thank you very much. Helm of Iron Will, that is a good item. We've got nerfed by 25 gold cost, but it's still amazing. Look at the stats on it. Six armor, five health regen. So we have two arm, two armlets going to be coming out. Uh, one on the Slada and one on the Wraith King. Both going straight for that. I mean, armlet Wraith King is very funny. Um, but um, Slada, it's a little bit different. I guess it means he wants to fight a little bit more. Rather than going the straight blink, he wants to actually hit people in the face. Yeah, it's a bit more um, more of a core build. I like armor on off laners. You can buy it on Legion Commander, Marcy. I mean, there's loads of heroes who can buy it, like Slada. But then you're, of course, trading the, your BKB and your blink timing. So you always have to see how far ahead am I? I mean, he's only got 38 last hits, um, but he's still second on net worth because he's been involved in five kills without dying. So, yeah, pretty good. And you can see TA is on top of the net worth, but Medusa actually not too far behind in Jabema. This is a really hardcore dive for an axe. Obviously, his bash does no damage into the 30 armor. I think he bit off more than he can chew. He's just run out of sprints. Yeah, that was a massive regret. Um, just talking about how far ahead he is. Ah, oh, Tim misses the hit. He bit most crowned and himself into the Ancients. Not quite. Roids will claim that. That one's going to Overwatch. I've already filed the report. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, now, those, those ancient stacks are going to catch Timbo right up. I feel like um, maybe they probably are for Medusa, but I would just do it behind Medusa's back, not tell him. Yeah, I mean, it depends how many times they're planning to stack it. If you're going for a four or five stack, if it's just one stack and you're you're going to leave it at that, yeah, I'd just take it on the axe. Get that blink dagger up. Blink dagger is basically essential on axe, so... I would, yeah, use it for now for the axe and then just make another set for the Medusa. Yeah, Medusa's not leaving the lane for a bit. Um, going for Manta first item, just picked up the Yasha. Unfortunately, the courier was very close, but didn't quite deliver it in time, so now it's going across the entire map again. But yeah, farming very well on Veteran. Uh, he's zero zero zero. This is the Veteran uh, Classic. Don't be involved in anything Weaver until he's got his items. In trouble. They oh, yeah. bots to get them. Silence. Still silence. Still silence. Not hitting the... Yeah, but they're going to back off. They gave up. Yeah, I'm surprised though, actually. I just thought they'd uh, thought they'd commit the Lion Stun straight away, but they didn't. They also have Finger of Death. I wonder if you can play max, uh, max mana burn lion. I suppose you'd be good at killing Medusa, but you're never going to find Medusa. That's that's not the kill that's happening at the moment. Jabate most found Veteran, but Veteran's just going to run. Veteran has the ult if need be. I think you better think about the ult. It costs 100 mana. Yeah, it does get it off. But Jabate Mel's, uh, you know, scared him away from the stack, so that's pretty good. I don't think Jabate Mel's in a lot of trouble. Well, Tim is coming as well. Wow, Jabate Mel is so out of position. He's got to be careful. Out comes the stun. It's rank 3 stun. We do have the swap as well. Tim's just going to run in. Tim's going to get the call. He's got phase boots, but he went the wrong way. He's also got the Tumblr's toy. He hasn't used it. Now there's the swap into the call. Don't steal the kill, Tim. Yeah, there we go. Veteran gets the kill. There's a bit of revenge. I don't know why he was so far ahead. Maybe space to push mid? On the middle lane, while um, all three of the ra die heroes you couldn't see were killing the puck off quite easily with the lion stands and the grim. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, puck kill is massive. Actually, that's just really nice. Puck, the lowest net worth out of all the all the cores in the game. Really surprised by that too. I could talk for hours about items that are insane. How about octarine core? Good lord. What are they thinking? Well, it is it's good now in the sense that it was garbage for a long time. Maybe it deserves to be like this. Uh, to yeah. They combined it with the Ether Lens, which makes it, you know, such a good combo because everyone wants all of those components. Really easy build up, great stats, great effect, yeah. Really I nice think, item. I, I quite like the decision to make um, cooldown reduction not stack. It was getting out of control. But yes. something then needs to be done about the neutral items that give cooldown reduction because everybody's buying Octarine Core and stacking it with a neutral and it doesn't work they're wasting my time oh yeah. yeah well that's true i mean league of legends had um cooldown reduction ever since the beginning whereas dota took a long time to put it in but league allowed it to stack as much as you wanted but then it capped at 40 percent 
Whereas Dota had a bit of a multiplicative stacking, but you could still get ridiculous value. So I, I like the way they've done it, but I wonder if there was a more intelligent way of doing it because it does make Arcane Blink pretty much useless. So I, I, I like neutral items. I would just rework half of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some of them are, are ridiculous. I mean, I'm glad they got rid of the really problematic ones. Yeah. Uh, ones that are game-winning, like the uh, Phantom... Phantom's Cape? Illusionist Cape? Yeah. That's the one, Illusionist Cape. I really miss Trident. Gotta start. I do... Trident was weird. We got the Hex Weaver's on the Weaver. There's the Dust. Yeah, Weaver's not getting out there, but never mind. He puck? is, because the Puck was in doing massive damage, and the Juju, so far ahead on Templar, realises that he can't fight that. Just going to have to concede the double kill to Royds, who's got five kills on support. Weaver nearly has the full Spirit Vessel. That's going to be deadly. Santa Ice Frog, I would get rid of Possessed Mask. That's got to go straight away. They nerfed um, it, but not enough. Uh, Fae fa Grenade is garbage. Don't need it. Oh, the um, nerf to Fae Grenade made it so bad. Philosopher's Stone is OP. Got to kill that one. Got to yep. go in the bin. Um, I don't like Grove Blast Bow. Rig. Grove Bow is too good. Yeah. Blast Rig is stupid design. Got to go. That is that is too good. Yeah. Um, um, aesthetics Caps, too good. <laughs> and I would um, bring back Trident. Come in. I miss it. Yeah, it is know. a tier 5. I don't know. People didn't like it because as OP as it was, they didn't like having to spend like 9,000 gold. For yeah, it. and if you weren't it's already going Sanjin Yasha, look at Tim. He's being smacked to death by a Slada. One more stun and he is dead. Goodbye. Oh, Tim, get the call off. Nope, didn't even bother. Puts the battle hunger, instantly gone. Nearly blink dagger on the Slada. Bit of a redemption for there. Could you bait mill? Axe has, Axe has suffered enough. I mean, you, you could leave him alone for a little bit. It will still keep suffering. He just needs that blink dagger. That's the thing about axes. I've played with axes who've gone zero seven and have done absolutely nothing. As soon as they pick up blink, well, it's a three point oh, two second. He's on his career. Was it? Ah, oh, okay, that's sad. But it is a uh, a BKB piercing three point two second AOE stun. So it's a very yeah. powerful ability. He needs that blink dagger though. Desperately needs it. All it's gonna take. I'm telling you, what it's gonna take is one Slada roll. You get 30 armor from Cool, and you lose 20 from amplified damage. Which is I what think it's is more like. actually. There's a talent uh, that gives another minus four. So he had 24 armor, and that yeah. taking a lot of damage here. He does have armlet though. It'd be nice to claim the level one reincarnation has over three minute cooldown. They're just gonna go for the tower instead. I like to call everything by its proper name, but Slada's ult it is amplified. Well, yeah, a Corrosive Haze, Amplified Damage is better. They, they have a lot of disable for the Weaver, finally taking down 341 gold for Jabate Mel. He's happy about that. He's got his own blink as well. Yeah. I like Slardar's old abilities when it was Sprint, Bash, Crush, and Amplified Damage. Reddit had the idea of tip the scales, which I think was incredible. That was such a, a brilliant, on multiple levels, that was quite good. But, is that not an ability for anyone else? That's a cool name. Feels like a waste if it's not been utilized. He's, he tips the scales and he's got scales. Oh, right. That's clever, it's clever. Yep. Yeah. Do like that. Lose three off distance. Okay, dumb. that's an interesting time. Yeah, a lot of damage on that melt strike would have killed him, but he does manage to get away. That one's going to Overwatch as well. Looked a bit suspicious to me. <laughs> well, like I'm sure Puck was just mashing the face shit button, but it only lasts 0 0.75 seconds. But he still managed to get it off. Very, very close. And the veteran's farming top. They have seen him. They're just running at him. The veteran very, very preemptively uses the ult. So that's clever. Puck gets just the lion. But that's still a lion kill. You can't TP out of it. You just sit there and die, I'm afraid. That's right. The best lions are dead. And the, the weaver looks like he's going to be on a charge. Yeah, but doesn't care too much about um about TA, I guess. Because TA can turn around nearly one shot. Oh, they swap the TA. Swap the oh, Timmy gets the three-man call. A lot of spins. Do you have enough damage? No, he misses it again. Gets almost one shot by the physical damage. You are going to kill the Rage King, but he's just going to come back to life. There's the resurrection. But it is a three versus two fight. Big damage onto Puck. Couple more right clicks. Puck. Ah, oh, the cooldowns are up now. Puck will be okay. They managed to kill Karen. Yeah, Puck's going to get out. Now taking a lot of damage. Roids with the vessel. But now someone's here. Get the stun onto to the Weaver. Nope. Finger of death. There's the kill. Finger of death. Making him wait for Finger it. of death. No, there's Making the silence. He's got silenced. And now comes the, uh, the no! finger of death onto the Puck. It wasn't no! going to kill him anyway. Puck had 600 HP. He took his sweet time. Trying to uh, trying to kill the the weaver. I'm not even uh, not not sure why. We're gonna have to do a replay. I'm completely flabbergasted. But the thing is, Puck wasn't gonna die. Puck had 600 HP. You're not gonna die from a 600 damage finger. We're just watching the replay again. Puck just manages to escape. 
And that, he's taking a lot of damage. Said, Looks a bit scared. Look, there you go, stun. It was suspicious, okay? Look, they see the Weaver there. Immediately finger of death. Go, go finger, finger. Nope, Nat dies. And then that comes the silence from Puck. Maybe he's just playing too greedy. I think he didn't have all the information. He didn't know Puck was going to come back on him. Puck does dodge the damage. <laughs> Perfectly. Yeah. Oh, so he yeah. didn't even deal anything. Nope. Awesome. It's weird because finger of death uh, actually has a bit of an animation, almost like a bit of a travel time, but you don't really expect it to. It's the same with Laguna Blade. You can block that uh, with phase shift and mules and all those things. 0.25 seconds. Oh, is it? Okay, nice. That's good to know. So definitely enough time. If you see it coming, you know it's coming at you. You've got time to react. It takes about 0.2 seconds to purely react to something if you've got fast reactions. So if you know it's coming, you can also preempt it a little bit. So there is time that, for that. That TA, I'm not sure it is. Lions in town. Yeah, TA's taking a lot of damage. This is a big fight. Oh, there's the swap. The swap on the dream call. Really nice combo there. And they also managed to find a kill on the lion. That's Royce just going ham. He is quite tanky, actually. When you have Vessel and Point Booster, 1,700 HP. But yeah, I like the combo. I like that you can um, you can never swap someone out. Whoa, Jabemo going in here. You got Nat as well. I think Kinder is just going to bite the dust, yeah. This is the battle of the Chad offlaners. They're just going to like start fights over oh, and over Jibaitmo and over again. taking a lot of damage. He's actually going to be okay because he has Armlet. Armlet Toggling going to save him. I think Karen is going to go down, however. Oh, no, they found Jabate Mel. Looks like Nat's going to go down too. He does have his ultimate. Do they have enough follow-up to kill him again? Uh, Royce is going to try. They do get the Hex on Weaver, but unfortunately Hex is not very good against Sakuchi because Sakuchi sets you to max speed. Oh, Timmy's gone in. A lot of damage onto somewhat. He's going to go down. Chopped in the face. Really hard game for the Dire. It is 5k like gold lead now. If a Medusa team starts taking off like this, you're done. You're done. Yeah, the, the thing is, Medusa's barely been in any of these fights. There's been Weaver has been in 15 of the 19 kills, 8-2-7. Medusa, 2-0-1, yet still top net worth. So not only are you winning the fights without Medusa, you've now got to farm Medusa. So, oh, yeah, it's going to be hard. I have a humble request, so I'll just drop that in the chat and we'll just see how they take that. Um, um, we don't have our resident techies player. Okay. Um, but we will see. Vet veteran has been known to play Techies. Karen says no immediately. Okay. I mean, if Techies gets banned now, you would at least have influenced it a little bit. There's one thing I know here is uh, Karen often had the final say. So, you know, I'll just I'll just take it. <laughs> That's true. Um, Kinder is a Techies, but is he now? Okay, didn't know that. Or oh, Veteran, bit out of position, but does have the ultimate. Will get it off in time? Nope, no mana. Just gets completely deleted. And, uh, well, yeah, farming a little bit too far up. Had a ward there, but it wasn't really far up enough to see them coming. Obviously, it's not going to see smokes anyway, and that's a kill on the Medusa. Very nice. I, I, I feel bad because I might have distracted them. Well, what, thinking about the techies? No, like, you, you responded to me in the chat, told me I shouldn't be saying anything. That could be very true, but... You shouldn't um, be talking... Oh, that right. typing might have been caught. You I shouldn't mean, be talking to us. Yeah, <laughs> okay. What have I done? Yeah, I'm not sure you can uh, you can yeah. take the blame for that one, but anyway, that's. Uh, I, just, I feel the guilt anyway. Ooh. That's fine. <laughs> oh, look Deleted. at that physical damage. Deleted. And Roche, of course, we remembered that it is in the game, and they don't have Medusa, but Medusa is just respawning. So Medusa's back up. Scratch that. Avengers dead for 20 seconds. Does have buyback. They're gonna look for a kill. Can they get the puck? No phase shift. Blink dagger. Puck is absolutely fine. Doing a bit of damage to the Tim Illusion. Obviously, it's just an illusion. Puck ha um, Lion has the three illusion kills. He did hex one and could just mana drain another. Yeah, man mana I don't understand that mana drain. So, obviously, hex des destroying illusions is consistent amongst across all hexes. But they decided to give Lion another way to destroy illusions instantly, costing nearly no mana and uh, no cooldown. But they have smoked. Let's see if they pick off someone. They know Tim is there. Tim's a pretty easy kill, as we're aware. He's if he's a chat, he can just finger them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tim, completely deleted. Two or three seconds, not even that. Two or three hits within one second. And they are finally going to take down this tower. A lot of damage coming out from the puck. That's incredible how quickly he did that much damage. Ooh, deadly. So Axe is looking for that BKB, which would help him from the Slardar for a bit. Although That's it true. might not help him as much from the meld. So, and, and also... It won't permanently help him. He'll be able to dispel one and then probably get hazed again, but... Yeah, it's true. Hazes... It's interesting that some abilities are um, 
piercing spell immunity, sort of like Treantol, but also you can dispel with with the application yeah. of BKB. This time we do get the Hex and the Weaver. They get the stun. They actually do stun him. They yeah, dust him, but they don't chase on him. Now they're going to go for him. Oh, he does manage to get his ult off. Scoochie again. He gets away, Roy's Slippery bugger. And that's it. Dire team just running around in circles. Someone nearly dies. Dust against Weaver makes me really sad. He'll always purge it. He'll always have that ult off cooldown. Yeah, Not strong, even... strong dispel. That's what makes it so good when you get the Aghanims because, you know, you're dispelling any stun from your teammates. It is very good. BKB is nearly up on a couple heroes. You can see heroes looking for it. You've got the Mithril Hammer and Ogre Axe on both Nat and uh, Tim. Trying to get their BKBs. The TA wants one too. I mean, there is a lot that BKB is stopping today. There's also a lot that it's not. Um, I, I think the um, the Radiant are better protected with BKB, so there's very little that can truly ruin their day other than Eren Bash. Yeah, damage go a lot of the dire damage goes to BKB, but they lose pretty much all of their control, and that's going to make uh, heroes like the um, the Axe stay safe. I don't know if Medusa is going to go BKB. I, don't, I think there's only going to be one BKB, and it's going to be on Axe. You're saying it helps the Radiant more, but I can't see anyone but, but the Axe going BKB here. So we'll see. Maybe they're just not thinking. You're, you're actually right. Yes, Puck can dodge things, and Medusa is going to be a hipster. So, you are right. It will only be the axe. Well, BKB is pretty good on Medusa, but some Medusas tend not to build. I obviously wanted to go for those stat items instead. Scardi is nearly up. That's going to tank the Medusa up a bit. Not even 1500 HP at level 18 is, is quite sad, actually, but it's about to change. Axe wants the Lotus Orb as well. Another nice purge for amplified damage. And. Um, also, it's just good against Lion in general. Um, it really irritates Lions forever. They just oh, yeah. stop being able to play the game for a while. And Slado actually it dispels a lot of things because um, you, you can't dispel Meld, but you can yeah trigger all of Lion's things uh, back at him. You can dispel the Corrosive Haze. You can stun the Wraith King on himself and fire a Phantom back yeah. at the uh, at the Grimstroke. They're we gonna find Tim. No they find Tim. They they blink in. No, they're gonna get Kinder Surprise. Two or three hits. Kinder's gone down. They do get the stun to Tim. Tim blinks away. They're going defensive. Actually, they dropped the Dream Call, so I'm not sure if, if the Radiant have really decided what they want to do. Roy T manages to time up on about 1 HP and immediately gets killed again, even with the Essence Ring. He had no chance of surviving there. Oh, Slide Puck. There's a... There's pretty much. I mean, when you've also got the Deso on the Wraith King, Wraith King doesn't have his own Blink. There's another hero buying Blink Dagger. We've already got five Blink Daggers in this game, and it's about to be its about to be six heroes in total. Four of the Dire team. Only the Grimstroke won't have a Blink Dagger. You will have every other hero with a Blink Dagger. I've noticed the team, have, um, the team has bought two Desos, so they've hoped to attack different heroes. Oh, they've got a second Deso. Who's on that? Yeah, with one as well. Ah, yeah. Whoa, that Puck died instantly trying to steal it. But unfortunately. Wraith band, people. Come on. Who's Wraith Band? Who dropped an entire Wraith Band? That was probably GG, uh, right? TAs, but TA's leaving the fairy fire, but we'll leave the fairy fire in backpack in case we need Yeah, drop, it. drop, a f <laughs> and leaving a neutral item now as well. Drop a full Wraith Band. Yeah, that, that's uh, an interesting choice. BKB surely up for TA soon. But yeah, the die, they've really turned this game around. They were quite far behind. Oh, no, debate mail. He's gone a little bit too far forward. Is he going to be okay? No, he wasn't able to do the armor toggle there. But it looks like Tim's going to be immediately killed. The swap from Kinder. Not going to be enough. Unfortunately, it's uh, signed him his death sentence as well. The this game is Medusa oh. or bus. Like, it's just Medusa carries or everybody else melts. And Medusa is just minding her own business on the other side of the map. So job's been done perfectly so far. But, like, they're going to struggle to kill the Medusa in the same way they kill everybody else. The armor's not going to be as important. Medusa's actually got 24 of it, inherently. Yeah, pretty fantastic. good. You also get 233% more effective health when you use Mana Shield. So, you know, it's, near, it's, over, it's over tripling your health. Um, uh, you could just say they're creating space, which, I mean, Medusa has all the space in the world. So Puck's got the deny on that tower. That's pretty impressive. Decay, you went for a gamble there, but it did pay off. Wow. Okay, Aghanim's on the Weaver. Hopefully that's going to really help turn these fights. I mean, the, the gold is very, very similar. Only 1,000 gold difference between the two teams. 3% change. So it's still anybody's game. And yeah, Lord Medusa farming. Close. Lord Gaben thinks it is unfathomably close. So Yeah, just about to be 60% in the dice favor. And that's basically saying nothing at all. We don't care unless it's sort of 80 or 90%. 
Just have a look at player levels. I haven't looked at them in a while. 20 on Mujusa. A few other heroes about to pick up the level 20 talent. It's very close, actually, on the XP. Very, very close indeed. Now we are... we. If we get that dark portrait on Grimstroke, um, there could be some Medusa shenanigans. If that thing gets to live, it will start hitting Medusa's entire team. Um, that is true. It's a very strong illusion. It's completely magic immune. Um, and it has bonus attack damage. So, whoa, what is happening here? They immediately kill the Weaver. Got to be careful, Puck. Does manage to escape a little bit. Oh, no, in a lot of trouble. Still has the Blink Dagger. It's going to be okay, actually. Puck is pretty much the slipperiest hero in all of Dota. I've had Terrorblade games against Medusa where you get a free win because the Medusa just starts split-shotting her entire team and can't stop it from happening with the reflection. So that could just be what happens to Dark Portrait as well. That's interesting, but but the, the split-shot won't be... Is it is it on the stay? Well, never mind, we've got a team oh. fight breaking out. We're going to do a lot of damage to the Puck. A couple of two right-clicks kills the Puck. So squishing, they've not got buybacks. That unfortunately does get stunned by the Medusa ultimate, but it's just going to keep charging in. Not sure he'll do enough damage to the Medusa. The armor's melting. Yeah, Veteran is going to go down. That mana went so quickly. Two or three good hits. I mean, you were talking about Medusa being tanky, but apply enough minus armor, a few right clicks from a Wraith King, and yeah, goodbye. Actually, you were right. That only worked when Split Shot was a passive. Wraith King wants an AC, just in case any more minus armor is required. Oh, goodbye. We've again Tim with the four man call. Is it going to be enough? Only manages to kill the Wraith King so far. And then he very quickly gets dispatched as well. And not even killing the Wraith King. No, That's and you big, still uh... still got Aegis and Juju. Now, what does Lord Gaben say? 81%. That's what we're talking about. Rack's going down. It's going to change it even further. We are desperately charging at Kinda, but he's playing it safe. He's the four stuff. This is what the game was all about. It was um, stomp early with massive damage or suffer later. They have chosen to stomp early. Uh, yeah, which is was the right call. Got to be careful, Puck. Oh, there's a stun. Nice stun from Kinder. Do we have follow-up Hex? No, Puck's going to be absolutely That's fine. Whoa, never mind. Puck is going to die. Doesn't have the blink, but the Wraith King, he is going to die. Never mind. Armlet toggle the tower hits. The armlet toggle them again. Yeah, and that is, is just oh, about making it out there. But Jebate Mel? Dream coil and then you know, nothing really comes of it. No, he died. They only managed to take one lane of Rax, but they also took a tier three tower. Looking at Lord Gaben again, 91%. I mean, look how quickly it has changed from 60% to 91%, all in the space of about two or three minutes. This game has gotten away from the Radiant really badly. Oh, Medusa. Medusa's, Medusa's just going to be spamming that voice line now. Okay, guys, I know we possibly lost this game, but we can still do this. Well, uh, it might require ritual sacrifice. Yeah, I think you're right. It's looking hard for Medusa's team. Going for the buyout, not saving for buyback, which I think is the correct play, because when you are in a desperate place, it calls for desperate measures. Get those items, get the Daedalus. Hopefully, you can win a fight with it. But the Dire, they are not slowing down. They are charging straight at the last tier two tower of the game. Daedalus Rapier, make it happen. Yes, I would be going. I would definitely have um, even considered earning that Demon Edge into a Rapier uh, instead of going for um, the Daedalus, but I don't think you have time for it. I think, yeah, the game will be over before you get the Rapier. So here we go. It's going to be the final high ground fight, potentially. The Radiant are being proactive. I like it. They're using smoke. I mean, it will take Axe to disable a couple of these armor reducers if they want any chance. No blade mail though. I really think he should have gone blade mail because you can reflect a lot of damage right back at their face. And that's already started. Tim, he goes in with the BKB. Cause only finds the lion. That could be a free kill. Puck's this gone in and there's a Grimstroke kill. This is looking good. They've got both supports. They've also got Nat once. But Tim, he gets killed in about two seconds flat. And if Nat goes down here, this could be really good for the Radiant. And yeah, Nat is going to go down. And now comes the chase somewhat. He's in a bit of trouble. Tries to get the stun. He dies. You need to chase Juji. Oh, it'd be nice to chase Juji. Oh, Puck's got to be so careful. Do just so much damage. There's the slow. Remember that Skadi slows ranged here is twice as much as it slows melee here. So if you're a ranged here and you get hit by the Skadi, you are not getting out. Swap to cancel it. No, swap's not available, but they do get your bait mail. So after losing two of their own heroes, they manage to claim four kills and they keep their base alive. So actually Medusa's really nice. Yeah, look, the win probability. It was 90%, 91%, and now we're back at 78. They're clawing it back. Showing us that Gay Ben does not always know best. And yeah, Medusa wants to be in those winning fights. Now can nearly afford buyback. 
Very nice. But high ground also gives you a massive advantage. You get a big armor aura from the tower. You also have high ground advantage. You've got the tower itself, which is applying its right clicks constantly. So it's a bit of a different story when you're outside your base. Wraith King is edging very close to that AC. That's going to be done extremely soon. That's a lot of extra armor because he's not he's not got any of the armor components on him at the moment. I don't know if they're on his courier. Um, where is his courier? Can you find Wraith King's courier? Is it, is it hiding somewhere? Nope. Where is this courier? It's dead. Never mind. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that thing in the corner. Does it say courier as we see it here? Yes. He had the plate and the buckler on the courier. Um, so when the courier is alive, uh, assault couriers will be up. And that's 15 extra armor he's about to claim. I guess one of the reasons that um, that Axe Blame might not be as good is because TA might not care if she pops refraction quickly enough. And they don't really have the damage over time to really seal TA's fate. You kind of have the Witch Blade. Um, but other than that, it's a lot of perpetual attacks have to do it. It's very little sort of burn that very quickly gets through that shield. Yeah, that is true. That is true. TA can can have a few attacks for free before the blade mode even starts to to do anything. So that's a very good point. I was thinking and, that. And I mean, if, when 25 comes up, plus 8 instances. That might the, hurt. The plus 8 instances talent used to never be taken over the 1 second melt hit bash, but then people realized 8 refraction instances is more than twice the number of instances. What did, what did, what did TA just destroy? I, I think it like... was a wraith. Was it the wraith? But was it the was it the fairy fire? No, fairy fire yeah. makes. Uh, does fairy fire drop on the floor with a little um, with a little picture of it, or is it just a, a treasure chest like other items? I don't think there's a fairy fire model. Okay, because there is for most consumables in the game. There's you know for tangos, salves, mangoes. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's shoot, who's sharing fairy fire? It's true. You can't share them, I suppose. Roshan is... Oh, you got the Hex onto the puck, but they missed the stun. Does it matter? You got the Grimstroke. Finger of Death dodged again. And I think someone's going to pay the price, but Tim, he's taking a lot of damage from Juju. Massive right click. Tim's actually going to survive. There's a Dream Call. It's a big stun. Have they got the follow-up stun? Yeah, this is looking good for the Radiant to die. They're making too many mistakes. There's a swap onto Karen. Karen is going to go down. Debatemail's gone in, and was that worth it? Actually, he does manage to get a kill on the puck. So debatable. Killing puck is very, very important. But Jabate going to go down as well. Not a good fight for the Radiant. Wasn't that even there? I, was, I think he probably just chose to back out. But Welcome wow. Welcome to RCPC game 199. We are witnessing Medusa Airlines. Please hang in here for the next 20 minutes. We'll brief you on the safety overview. Well, it's Medusa. It's taken a bit of a detour. <laughs> or this hit a massive patch of turbulence, if that. I mean, I can't tell which team is winning anymore. First, we were saying, oh, well, when Medusa's ahead. Wait, did that just solo kill the Weaver? Uh, okay, interesting. Um, 722 gold, that's a lot. But we thought the Medusa team, yeah, they're winning. They don't even need Medusa. Then suddenly it was completely the other way around. We thought the last set of racks were going to go down. And then um, the Medusa team have turned it around again. So. The really scary thing is that like once the Medusa takes off, like it's almost unstoppable. Um, it's once hard. that Medusa is where she needs to be, they don't have what they need to take her down, really. Well, um, armor's going to keep increasing. Level 25 has this incredible talent of split shot uses modifiers, meaning you, you can Scardy, you can crit, you can satanic multiple targets at the same time. Um, does it say what doesn't... Yeah, extra targets will not receive other attack effects. So yeah, the, the Scardy will heal you... Um, satanic will heal you to full. Scardy will slow everyone at once. Daedalus will crit everyone at once. It's such a massive talent. It's going to so, be big. And I mean, unless you want unless you want Lion to go um, Ghost Scepter, then... There might not be too many ways to undermine that tankiness. So once reduces off the ground, you kind of have to bank on a miracle. Yeah, and if you if you and if you put everything on Medusa, just time lapse her. No problem. May, may I say, Medusa has six thousand two hundred gold. We're pretty close to a particular milestone, which she might actually be going for. I mean, could be rapier hours. But thankfully, Ole, you can see the player level by looking at the hero right in the middle of the screen. See that 24 next to the health bar? So it's, it's okay. The reason why it's hard to not cover the parts of the UI is the UIs change size depending on um, how many abilities the heroes have. So it's impossible to com completely uncover it. But I you are think, right. I think Dusa wants a rapier. I think it. Well, I was also oh, thinking the same. But now, Med now Medusa is ahead. Butterfly does make sense because... Uh, TA needs to right click you, Slardar needs to right click you, Wraithing needs to right click you. If they're all missing a third of their right clicks, but never mind, scratch that. Nat knew what was going on. He's already thinking, right, if they get Butterfly, I'm in a really rough spot. Get that MKB queued up. Very intelligent. Are they, are they listening to us? At well, that time, I didn't say it on the old chat, so they can't blame me. Yeah, that's me true. Uh, I think that's, um, yeah, that, that's clever. 
clever thinking from Nat. Make sure they counter the, the butterfly before it's even up. And, but the veteran is committing for it. I think he actually has the butterfly already. I mean, he's got at least the money for it. We've got the... TA Aegis. Um, four more minutes of that fun. And who got the shard out of that? I think it is the TA that got the shard. But he's silent on the silent trap. Ah, yes, I did think there was a silence. Up to 3.5 seconds, you also get four more traps and more vision. I mean, it's one of those shards where they just kept adding more things to it. I like it when shards just do one thing, but no, some shards have to also half the cooldown, double the count, increase the damage. Like, you know, make up your mind. What is this shard going to do? And, wow. And with, the, with the leveler, Wraithking could just hit buildings with the AC, with the Thessos. I mean, did they... Did that really just happen? They just walked and took their axe and left, and there was no fighting, no repercussions. Well, just, yeah, see ya. See ya. They know, they know reincarnation is there. They know who else is coming yeah, but you on the low ground. You gotta do something. That, that's your, it's your axe. I mean, are they? Axe is prioritizing the blaze mail. Uh, okay. Looks like, but... Is Witchbane good on anybody? Witchbane would be great against Medusa, but I don't know if anyone attacks fast enough for it to be worth it. Maybe it'd still be worth it for the Wraith King, but I think he just wants the 5 armor and 50 attack speed from I the mean, leveler. Also, what do you want for the dispel? That's not really enough. No, uh, but I think the damage you do against Medusa is really high with Witchbane, but I suppose it's probably not enough. Now it's just going to go straight down. Tim's going to jump in, gets Juji, but is there any follow up? That is the question. Medusa, nice amount of control coming out from somewhat, really holding in place. That's actually a buyback from Tim, because he was the first death. Now. Oh, Aeon Disc propped on Puck again. instantly. Yes, yeah, Stone Gates used, like you said. I mean, but the die, they get Dream Cord. Karen gets the ult off, dies very, very quickly. Four versus five fight. Jabate Mail gets the crush. Nat with the BKB. <laughs> Massive damage. The buyback's coming in fast from the Radiant, though, and the Dire as well. They're trying to buy back. Juju just being controlled by Tim. And then Tim taking a lot of damage. But Veteran, Veteran is the one to watch. He's just sitting on the high ground, right kicking as much as he wants. Nobody has been able to get to him. Oh, Juju. Is he going to go down? Only the Aegis. But Radiant have dropped a lot of buybacks for this. Do you have Blink Dagger on Juju? No, no Blink Dagger. It was on cooldown. And yeah, Juju is going to go down. Tries to fire an attack at Puck, but it's just instantly melded. And that is it. Welcome to Medusa City, everybody. Same, same as it ever was. But there were two buybacks. Axe and Weaver had to instantly buy back. But they held the high ground. Uh, they won the fight. They end up with 3,000 extra gold and quite a lot of extra experience. So I'd say that's worth it. Axe bought back as well, so... Um, yeah. No, Lion bought back as well. Oh, That's yeah, Lion as well. Yeah, Lion as well. Yeah, you're right. Puck nearly level 25, and also TA and Slada nearly level 25, so quite a few 25s so, coming up. Karen's been trying to get that Scepter all game, and it would have made such a big difference against the Medusa, but being the sad position 5 and being the victim of so much damage has just given up and is going for stuff. And I would <laughs> well. have loved to see the Dark Portrait, but... I mean, it's it's been a sad game to be a pos five Grimstroke. They could just blow you up. They could just end your day. Although, not that many deaths. Everyone, your high ground. What are you going to do, though? You are right. Not too bad on the Grimstroke. Playing really safe. Karen has made very safe they, this game. They, they get swapped in. Going to get Wait, completely deleted. King is on the other side of the map. He's very... Is he just not interested? Yeah, no, he is now. And then he loses dream his TP. Coil. Million dollar dream call. But let's not watch that. Let's watch the, the, the Radiant. Are they going to rampage through the base, or are they going to go for the, the the win? Are they going to just go back? They just go I back. Feel, I feel like without the Wraith King, you can push with so much more. Yeah, no Wraith King, no Grimstroke, and no TA. And you have a Medusa and the rest of your team. Yeah, I felt like that was a free Tier 3 Tower and Racks, but they played it very, very safe. They said, well, we might as well pick up our Tier 4 neutral items. It is Medusa Satanic time as well. Okay. Playing it very safe on the Medusa. Going to tank up with some extra HP. Satanic can also be used to um, uh, to dispel, although Corrosive Haze is about to become undispellable. That's going to be uh, be difficult. Um... I do have to, I've got an interesting interesting query for you, um, for veterans perspective. What is more important for you, the slippers or the reaver? Uh, he's put the reaver in place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. We always like to make fun of this on stream when people um, either have a free slot in their inventory or have completely the wrong item in there. Someone had that for almost half the game. Someone had the wrong item in their slot. And I can't remember who it was. It was definitely Roids, but I don't remember what the item I'm was. I'm a big fan of when my teammates um, complain, no dust, no dust, no dust. And I tell them, you can buy dust. My inventory is full. They've got two slippers. Yeah. <laughs> well, even like, even like, you're you know you're four or five slotted, but you're holding on to that wraith band. But I'm like, yeah, but five Agi at this point in the game is in dust, which can get you a kill. I'm definitely holding the dust, thank you. Yeah, I agree. 
We got the A on disc on the Weaver, pretty much just playing for saves at this point, I think, and finally got boots, although to be fair, Weaver did not know not, not need those, so Well, they're they're okay for traversing the map, but you're right, you can just spam Sakuchi. Yeah, um given the lock combining. I think they did have the Arcanes and swapped it into the Aeon Disc. Um, Aeon Disc just basically, I guess you're just playing around the ranged time lapse at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, with that. the ridiculous thing about Aghanims as well, time lapse goes to a 20 second cooldown. This is a 20 second, 500 cast range, strong dispel, four second, uh, five second rewind. I mean, it just does so much. Even with the cast uh, range nerfs, it's still so good. Puck wants an E-Blade, which could just make um, make one of those carries stop working. Um, they do have both the BKBs up, but that is still forcing them to burn it for that. Um, that's all I don't... Or it could just be for the save. Uh, yeah, save frankly, is pretty good. It is for the save. Well, Ethereal form. Dyer have gone for three BKBs. Radiant have one BKB, but two Aeon Discs. That's their sort of uh, alternative approach. Axe did go to Blade Mana, looking at the Lotus Orb. Um... And Medusa, I think, wants that shard. Um, shard is quite nice. I mean, it's not as good without Aghanims, but yeah. it still gives you a fair chunk of free mana with the snake that comes out, so it's never terrible, but way better than that. Running right towards bot, but the TP's are. are on the way. Well, I mean, it's as close as it could be. Look, win probability is literally 50 50. Jabatemo's going in, immediately on this proc. Rex is waiting off. as long as possible. He is. He managed to take the whole tier 2 tower before even having to go back, so I mean, that's perfect output for him. Oh, they even deny the tier 3. <laughs> deny that. <laughs> I don't think you want to be denying the tier 3. You want to keep that as long as possible. You get 5 armor for being near the tower. That's a nice aura. Do we have Undispellable Corrosive Haze now? Nat, yes, we do. Nat, Nat does want Scepter. Scepter? Okay, well, I guess he's he's pretty much 6 slotted. He could go for the, the Agi Blink, Swift Blink. But decided, no, I want to get the Aghanims, and it is really good, so... And he went for the Mortal Strike cooldown talent, instead of taking the bait that is the AoE Wraith Fire Blast. AoE so... Wraith Fire Blast, yeah, if you're playing POS 1, I think the crit is, the, the half cooldown crit is so much better, but in, in a game where you just throw yourself at the enemy, it can be pretty good. I think Lion is yeah. in a world of pain. Yeah, well, getting a kill on support, or not, because a Grimstroke heal coming out, it's still going to be enough damage to go line on this immediately, probably also use the ultimate on Weaver. And Medusa, Medusa dropped the ultimate too. Medusa. They've dropped a yeah. lot of things. It's four versus four at the moment. Medusa is strong. They need to get onto the Medusa, but they can't. Medusa is way too tanky. Standing the ground, applying the Scardi. Debate must be KB. It's about to run out. Medusa's Let's get this done. Taken, oh, that Ooh, that's a lot of damage to on Royce. Royce is going to go down. That's the Wraith King first death. Can they kill the Medusa? Medusa starting to run out of mana. Still on half mana. There's Good the nice swap. swap. Keep her safe. That's running in. Oh, he's got the Grimstroke. It's going to be a nice stun. Absolutely no oh, mana, and oh goodbye God. Medusa. And Puck is going to get out, or not. There's... Whoa, what a finish. Like to see a replay of We're going to have a look. One shot that took down Medusa from full HP to nothing. Well, let's see if we can catch some of that. Medusa looked like um, Veteran was in a really nice place at that point. Taking a little bit of damage, shrugging it off. No one was going on top of him. Seemed fine. As soon as his mana ran out, instantaneously died. We're about to see this happen. So still nearly full mana. We Some... do have buybacks in the game, I regret to inform you. It's all right. I'm, I'm keeping track. There's nothing okay. really happened with the buybacks. And yeah, Medusa seems okay for now. Still got a third mana. Last bit of mana goes down and then Medusa completely gets deleted. It's this one shot from, I think, the Wraith King. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, it's, it wasn't it's the Wraith King. It, was, it must have been the TA that hit for that crit. Um... Well, Medusa is all about the mana. 70% of damage taking goes to mana. So you're only taking yeah. uh, less than a third of normal damage. And as soon as the mana goes away, well, you're back to your normal hero, quite squishy. I mean, 3k HP is pretty good, but actually for somehow it's more than Wraith King, which I find interesting. I suppose only, Wraith King hasn't bought stats. Only recently has the scale of power creep in Dota really come to my mind because I remember when that was a 50% with no bonus mana and it's just crept up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, bonus mana. Two, well, just a little bit. 250 bonus uh, mana. Is that, you actually look at any hero spell and it's like, oh god, they've all just gotten something new on them. I only learned last week that Queen of Pain's Q now has a heal. 
What? Uh, well, they did nerf... Uh, when they added the heal, they did take down the damage as well. And the heal yeah. is pretty bad. At max rank, it's 200 heal. That takes 15 seconds to happen. But I suppose it does help her a little bit. And uh, Roche is going to go down straight away. And that's pretty big to just give to the Diver. Because they're also going to get free Aghanims. They're going to give it to Garen. She finally has access to the Aghanims. That's how Grimstroke's going to get the Dark Portrait. Just immediately take it from the Roche. And that is fantastic. Look at the outgoing damage. 150%, so it's 50% stronger Medusa. Yes, it takes a lot of damage, but it goes 30% faster and it is magic immune. So, uh, I mean, if, yeah. If you get a lucky soul bind, you could grab an axe as well. Uh, um, yeah, just so, or, or avenge, you get the, the access to the Vengeance Aura, 32% damage. Not bad. We, now, we've said for a long time that, oh, this is going to be the last high ground fight of the game, but um, this could be. Either way. Yeah, this this game is uh, is just going on and on and on. I mean, I thought it was over at 25 minutes, then 35 minutes, then 40 minutes. It's now 48 minutes. We're nearly heading to 50-minute mark in this game. And um, that was charging after the creep so, wave. Decided he can't actually get it or can't be bothered. Um, for the sake of Ollie, the Witch Bane is sitting in the backpack of TA, but it's still going it, It's been there the entire time. Interested. Um, so I don't think they're interested in using that. No, I don't think so. Having to backpack an entire... Um, Hurricane Pike doesn't feel great, but I suppose there's no way around it. Would you not drop the boots at that point? I think Treads I mean... versus Hurricane Pike. Hurricane Pike gives you attack range, gives you a uh, full staff effect. Nat just goes in, tries to go through backdoor protection, does succeed. There's now no tier 3 tower for them to hide behind. That's the armor aura also deleted. And it's looking pretty good for the Dire. They've got the Aegis. They've, they've got 19k gold lead. This gold lead is just, I mean, the free Aghanims as well. That is amazing. It's free real estate. <laughs> it is. Nat just goes in. But, Nat doesn't care. I mean, he takes a lot of damage there. Wow, I'm surprised how much damage that magic missile did without the he's magic almost, missile damage talent. He's almost got swift blink because he does have the eagle soul. He's just being controlled. Got to be careful. Of course, there is a Medusa there. They don't have a Heaven's Halberd, which I find interesting, which obviously shuts down the Medusa. No, there's no mana, bane, uh, mana burn on Witch Bane. It's only damage based on their mana. It doesn't actually burn mana. Just hit the range racks. That's a kill. Playing it so safe here. If it was mana burn as well, then you'd have to take it. Oh, we've got the Medusa. Oh, there is Split Shot on. But Split Shot's not... It's a passive and it's not activated on. It's a... If it, I guess it, I think if toggles are on, you do keep. Yeah, maybe they're just using it to kill it. They don't quite get it. They're going on the Medusa. Going hard. Nice swap. Tim goes in with the call. There's a lot of damage going out. Die. They're just being absolutely shredded. That second life is about to proc. Are they going to kill him? Look at the stun coming out from Medusa. That is going to go down. There's the first life, and they've managed to get a kill on the line and the Grimstroke. I mean, you can see the Aghanims in in effect, but it's too late. Nice finger. Did he just? What did he finger? A creep. Oh, okay, an illusion. Wow, Radiant and their high ground defense. That was a fantastic swap coming out from Kinder, followed by the call from Axe. And Tim he is back in the fight, but he's about to go down. Pops the blade mail. Cheese is eaten. But the veteran, veteran is so strong. Look at the damage from the Medusa. This is late game Medusa in full effect. And I think that's looking pretty bad. Two buybacks coming out from Dyer. They actually have every single hero alive, and there is no Kinder. Um, they I mean... finally kill with the debate mail. Veteran chasing. No, not chasing. Playing it safe, trying to kill his own illusion, does Dark get it. Portrait does not do enough against the Medusa here. No, because Medusa, I mean, that's the thing about the Dark Portrait. The hero you create the Dark Portrait of tends to be strong enough to kill the Dark Portrait of themselves. So yeah. that that's sort of the, uh, obviously, the drawback. It does take 50%, yeah. uh, no, 300% more damage. I see what happened with the Lion Finger. Um, if you're in your Wraith form, you're guaranteed to die. And the Medusa illusion is probably doing a lot of damage. And yeah, fair enough. Cooldown, you'll have it back anytime soon. Yeah, it's... 40 it's, second cooldown. It's better That's than fun. not using it at all. But, uh, I mean, this game, 52 minutes in, it looked like... Okay, Dire, they had Aegis, they had Cheese, and they had a free Aghanims. They were hitting the high ground. No, doesn't matter. They still won the fight. They can't kill this Medusa. Medusa is going for the Rapier. I know you've, you've wanted it for a while. First it was a Butterfly Detour. Then it was a Satanic. Now it is the Rapier. Finally, Medusa's damage is going to over double. Oh, wow. Yeah. One finger of death stack in 52 minutes. <laughs> Not been a finger-happy game. Lion should take the max health talent 
Um, uh, funnily, he did actually take the tw damage per kill talent, which is yeah. sad. For 20 damage. <laughs> 20, da 20 magic damage. I suppose Mana Drain restores allies is not super useful this game, because no I one mean, really needs it, Mana. It, it's better than 20 damage. I don't even know if that's like true, that. to be honest. I mean, it's pretty close. I suppose the one thing about Mana Drain restores Mana on allies, right, is you can use it on your allies just to get the BKB effect. Yeah. Yeah. Which gives you a nice option. Yeah, that, I didn't think about that actually initially. Oh wow, this game. What is going to happen now? Uh, do we have any level 25s on the way? Not quite. Wraith Kings is pretty good. Picking I up mean... some skeleton talents first, and then he's got the AoE stun, which is nice. Six slotted on the Wraith King, actually. So he Wraith King's got he, nothing he, to buy. He explicitly didn't get the AoE stun, though. So, to be clear, he did get the cleave, though. That's true. He'll, he'll get it eventually. So Wraith King is completely six slotted. Reducer isn't because you need a rapier, then you need a backup rapier, then you need a swift blade, then you need Ag's blessing, then you need a moonshard. So Medusa is miles away. If you want to be picky, moonshard and travels. Make yeah, it happen. travels too on the Wraith King. That's true, um, as well as the uh, the moonshard. So still a couple of things left to buy. I honestly, think, I honestly think the Deso can go as well, just because we have to on the team and. Replace it with what then? It's quite. You're right, rapier. Yeah, rapier. You're right, rapier. Of course. When is it not rapier? When is the answer not rapier? But you could go something like abyssal. Abyssal. Yeah, I was. Th I was thinking abyssal. Or, yeah. Is this a nullifier game? There's not, not a lot to nullify. You can. Um... Oh, they don't. They don't show you. You know the the damage resistance that comes from Nether Swap, which is saving the Medusa. Yeah. I don't know if you can dispel that. That only lasts three seconds, but it's fifty percent damage reduction which is loads of damage reduction. So yeah, hard to tell if, if the, you can dispel that. I guess you have to look at the wiki. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm I going can hear, I can hear the, the clickety clack of a mechanical keyboard. Replace oh, it with I'm Halberd, div yes, true. Never swap on Divinity Original Sin 2 wiki, no. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin. Um, you, I would have expected Heaven's Halberd on Jabait Mail. Instead, he's going for Scythe of Vice on Slada, which is an interesting choice. But I suppose I do love Scythe of Ice, but I think Heaven's Halberd against Medusa is slightly better because she, she uh, you know, five second disabled because she's it, better it stats. Is, it is dispellable. It is spell okay. Maybe Nullify are not the worst item then. So, uh, dispels those Aeon Discs. They've got two Aeon Discs. They've got an E-Blade. So there's a lot you can be dispelling. That is a Hex coming out on the Slada. Yeah, I just don't understand the Hex. I, I, I think Nat's gone good. in. Nat gets E-bladed immediately. Look how much damage he's taking. He does manage to leave the base double four staff, but he's on one HP. He needs to hit something to get some health. I think he can afford the Hex for Soulbind and um, Grimstroke can't. Oh, that's, that's true. That's yeah, okay, okay. So, um, so Soulbind from the Grimstroke and then Slardar is the one who goes in and hexes them. Does make sense, does make sense. And that's saying, please let me heal. There we go, big heal. Is he going to wait for another crit? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter because the overkill damage doesn't heal you, but I don't think you need that. But anyway, they're about to win. Or not, as the case has been the entire game. So the win probability currently 66% in Dyer's favor. So so what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Um, yeah, that's a tough question. Um, I feel like it's a Medusa game. Medusa's going to do Medusa things. <sighs> It is Medusa late game, so I would be inclined to agree. No, no rapier, but... though. No rapier. Playing it safe. Going for Arcane Blink. Swift, Agi Blink Swift, first. Swift Blink. Swift Blink. Watch out, though. It's The slippers are there, just in case. Is he still holding the slippers? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Oh, replacing the boots, though. I think that's the decision. You've got Ninja I mean, Gear to give 25 move yeah. speed. You've got the, the Agi Blink to give you some Musu when you use it. So, yeah. Probably Medusa makes. is the slowest slug in the world, but yes. Um, the, other, the other slower slugs on the team, Weaver, 275 move speed. I think they both have the same move speed. Uh, yeah, they Weaver both. Che Weaver cheats the system, though. That's like, true. Medusa's just slow. No, but when, when they're disabled or when they've lost their speed, both Medusa and Weaver have the lowest move speed in the game. Both on the I same team. I don't even buy boots of speed on Weaver. It's just like, I don't even need that. Get out of here. Yeah, it's true. Where's Lion oh, going? I I'm learning yeah. new, incredibly basic things every day. I'm still 1k trash. Um, but yeah, using the gem to deward, of course. Yeah, Put it makes down sense. And it reveals the high ground. It's the small things in life. It's the small things. Oh, that is quite clever. I didn't know that. I didn't even think about that myself. That's wow. A, we, we, Weaver's on it. Weaver that is, is that's, on it. that's genius. I like that.
There's the dust, uh, smoke, sorry, is immediately used, but it, it doesn't catch everybody. It has caught the Medusa. Oh, no, Medusa's used his own ninja gear. That, that makes more sense. But that leaves two heroes, both your initiators, who don't have it. Roche, this is going to be important because Roche has guaranteed Ags and Refresher on it. So it's going to be all down to this final fight. We what? do have buybacks, though. Lots what of buybacks. Good, what are the good Refresher spells this game? Right? Not a massive amount. Jabemel goes in and immediately runs away. <clears throat> Nat just drops a few skeletons. Puck destroys them the first life. They get the call. Wow, the blink in from Veteran, really aggressive, immediately going to kill Karen. I think that's going to go down too. Medusa doing so much damage. Like you said, it is Medusa gaming now, and Veteran is going to claim the kill on Karen, obviously after the seven second delay. And it's time for someone to go down. No, we got some disable onto Medusa. Do we have enough disable? Tim goes in with the call. There's the swap out, keeping Medusa alive. Also the E-Blade, preemptive E-Blade just in case. A lot of damage going to Kinder. So Juju's just going to take the kill on Kinder and leave. And Roche is literally going to be back if they check any Brilliant. second now. And it's not. just respawned. TA will see it. TA will see that. But what so... about the rest of the Radiant team? The Dyer have pinged it. The Radiant haven't. In fact, all of that fight well, only resulted in a support trade. I'm really surprised about that. They've seen oh, it. Okay. Yeah, both teams have now spotted that Roche. TA got to see it for free and Puck got the orb. So this is going to get spicy. Puck has 43% spell amp. That's a lot of spell amp. I mean, that is more than most heroes ever get. And it looks like Tim is taking a lot of damage, but they do get a kill into somewhat. So another one for one trade. They drop the dream core, but then Slada just says, I don't care about your dream core. I'm just going to run straight through it. And exactly that's what I do. But then Veteran, he goes in. This is huge from Veteran. They do not have enough damage to kill him. And they're buying back on the line straight away. Going to buy back on the Slada as well, but Tim's also bought back. The fight just never ends here. And there's also a buyback coming out from Kinder. Does now make it four versus five. They could go Wait. for Roche. Radiant have never not, taken a Roche. We're not onto the main course yet, though. And that is the cut the carries. Nice AoE, AoE yeah. manager. It's AoE. nice, isn't it? Yeah, instantly killing them. Illusion. I mean, uh, the, the thing, someone said TI buybacks. And that's true, but they didn't buy back to fight. They bought back to both go farm their respective jungles, which is not quite the normal play. But anyway, it's a very patient game. I think this is open AI. It's gotten into our heads. I just I want to see the uh, the Agnums on the Medusa because it is so good. Once you got the shard as well, I mean now you're just firing out stuns as well. Neutral items. Where's the alarm? Oh, what, what, that's true. We've hit the one hour mark. We've not had that in a very very long time. So Fallen Sky is going to be the first one. Fallen Sky is great, of course. It's a it's a blink dagger. It's a meteor hammer. It's got great stats. Pirate hat. That's a lot of free gold. Giant's I, ring. My teammates will never use the pirate's hat. Ever. you got to spam it. It's so I much attack speed as well. I have to ping them every time. X Machina uh, is incredible. 25 armor. I think X Machina actually got nerfed, so it's a bit less armor. Yeah, 20 armor. Resets all of them. Seer Stone. That's also a great item for Lion. Lion wants that Seer Stone. 350. I think, I think all the items are great. Where's my Trident? True. No, I don't think... We, Trident would be great for Medusa. We're not going to see a Trident. Let's just have a look at the items. You've got um, Giant's Ring currently being used by Medusa. I suppose it does give you 50 move speed, which is nice We don't have boots. 35 strength. Not great otherwise. I think it's it's a bit overrated on Medusa. Maybe it should go on someone like Axe, but they need some more items. Weaver with the I X think, Machina. I think Medusa would like the X Machina. Uh, no, with the Weaver, you, you can't justify it going anywhere else, but... I would have fought double satanic and force boots on Medusa. Now that's right. better. That's better. It's a dispel. It's eight second cooldown four stop. It's 115 move speed. I think you've got to go for that. The Apex. Apex goes on the dire. Who do you give the Apex to? I'd say you tend to give Apex to Agi heroes because 70 uh, Agi is a lot of damage. Another Apex. I, I feel like I feel like Wraith King could still take that Apex if he just wants to crit people. I think you go Apex on Medusa. 70 agility on Medusa on is so side, much. On the other side, absolutely. Apex on Wraith King. 70 strength does definitely give you a lot of health. But I still think TA is a better... No, maybe TA is going to take the pirates out. Fair enough. He's banking on guaranteed crits. And you just want that one crit to hit as hard as possible. And the plus 70 damage. Yeah, 70 It'll damage and work. 70 strength. Not bad. But I think Medusa taking the Apex. 70 agi. Nearly yeah. 50 armor on Medusa. That Someone is going to be scary. Oh, Aeon Disc procced on Puck. Puck with the overwhelming blink now. No level 30s yet. Level 30 would be really, really nice for Medusa because Medusa gets 75 int as Medusa well. Medusa is approaching 1,000 last hit city. So. Really? I've not looked at last hits for a very long time. It looks like we're going in. We're going hard. But there comes the Aeon Disc. Aeon's just going to keep them safe. Medusa, do we have any lockdown for Medusa? Finger of Death goes out. Does no damage. Tim is about to die. 
The fight is going all over the place with Veteran. It's the one we're looking for. Veteran gets Hex for a very long time. Losing a lot of mana. This could be the kill kind. A nice swap. Veteran's currently still alive, but very, very long mana. Another stun. They have so many stuns. Veteran, though, drops Satanic. So much mana coming back from the snake that comes out. They just can't kill Veteran. They're doing everything they can, but they had to get through the Satanic as well. They didn't have enough. Look at all those skeletons immediately getting killed. And I think that is uh, about to die again. The again. Yeah, I mean... Now Veteran has no mana, but nearly has Titanic up again. Out comes the A on this. Not A on this, the, the swap, the Lotus Orb. Call from Tim, be. and that is going to go down. But he does manage to get a kill on the Axe. Medusa Gaming. Oh, you can stun the illusions that come out from the uh, Wraith King. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't realize they were interactable, but what a fight that was. That was every single hero on the die was taken down. They could not kill this Medusa even out of mana. That, Ridiculous. That single fight literally convinced me as to what the point of cold blood is. Like, Medusa would just get a free refill every time they tried to stop the Medusa to get a free refill, and that would buy her enough time for the next Satanic. Pretty much. Crazy. I mean, please don't use the Agnums on Medusa. It's got 11,000 gold. What are you going to do with gold? I guess you can just keep buying rapiers. But Agnum gives the Agnums to Puck. Puck still didn't have Agnums. Surprise, Puck waited this long for Ag, seeing as there are three BKBs on the Dire team. But never mind. How's the Ags now? That's obviously going to be a huge upgrade where for the pack. Is, where, where is the Refresher going? Refresher Shard was on Veteran. It's been asked to Weaver, so Weaver can time-lapse you twice. Yeah. Also has Ex Machina, so he can use his items now three times in a row. So for the triple Lotus Orb for the team. Very nice. Please tell Venge has Ags. Um, yes, does have Ags. Took a very long time to build it, but does have Ags. I like the overwhelming pulling from the pack. Yeah, I like Not it too. Not that I think any of that's going to matter. I feel like this game is over, or that might be a stupid thing for me to say. Well, we've said this about 20 times now, as we're heading into the uh, 65th if you, minute. If you can't kill Medusa in that team fight, then not with an Aegis and Chiefs, right? Just, it's not going to happen. Not going for the win. Medusa does have the Aegis, but very low mana. Though what happens if Wraith King stuns? A Cold-Blooded Snake comes out, and then the mana goes back up. Puck is just and delaying. And like, um, Medusa now has... Um, actually, Medusa's always had the 30% mana gain talent. Um, yeah, really good talent. The 75 int, though, is going to go a long way, because that means when Medusa hits level 30, gains nearly 80 mana, which is a lot of... Uh, 80 int, sorry. 80 int is, what, like 800, maybe more? Is it? Is it 13 mana per... Um, 13 mana per int? So, yeah, it's a, it's a, over a 1,000 extra mana, which is a lot. Really, really wants that talent. Gems just dropped on the floor. Is anyone going to pick that up? they got no space for it. Another fire picked up by the Slardar. Smoke from the die. But what are the die going to do? They've got Megas to fight against. They're running around. I, I honestly feel like if you couldn't kill Medusa in that fight, it would be cold-blooded. It's going to take some tremendous throw to give this up. What is Medusa um, buying? Swapped out the Daedalus. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't see, especially level 30 a Medusa. Thousand. It's a thousand last hits on Medusa. 1,000 last hits. Wow, 1,006 last hits. What a game. We were talking about, are these teams balanced? They are pretty much as balanced as it could possibly be. Mirror Shield is the final pickup. Nat goes in, tries to kill Puck, realizes he's not going to get the kill. There's going to be a swap anyway. It'll say swap. Oh, here's the engage. We've got them in place. Veteran's just running in. Look at the damage. Goodbye, Karen. Oh, no, there's a very, very oh. long stun coming out, but Karen is still going to go down. But has time to get the Dark Portrait. Never mind, just get stunned by the Dream Call out of the entire duration. Dark Portrait. No, is going to go down. No buyback. Big stun coming out from somewhat. Big mana drain as well, but it looks like Nat's in a lot of trouble. But that is going to go down. Barely doing enough damage to Tim. Remember, Tim used to be this hero who died instantly in every fight. But now he doesn't even die quickly. A lot of damage going to Weaver. Out comes a nice stun. Rewind. Even good enough. There's 75 intelligence. There's no buybacks. Game. Finally, yeah. it is game. Maybe it's not good, um, not good form to call GG, but we can call it nonetheless. Yeah, we can call it now. 66 minutes into the game. You heard the refreshers with you. Oh, they're actually trying to go in. Juju trying to make something happen, but Tim comes in with the call. Um, it almost immediately killed, dies to Juju. There comes the rewind, but still dies. Ah, oh, they swap him out of the coil. And the Axe call, I think, is a five-second stun, if I'm right. Four-second stun. So you just swap them out of the coil. Guaranteed BKB piercing, four-second stun. Really nice combo for the late game. And yeah, of course, nobody's killing Veteran. So I think we can call that a game. Out. Yeah, he's gonna one shot everybody. Not quite. Bit of disabling there. I mean, your prediction was right. It was all about the Medusa. In the end, Medusa was too strong. But it was epic to fight on that long. The few kills they got on the Medusa were so cool. Well, I was expecting that to be over half an hour ago. Very cool.
just want to have a look at some stats. Obviously, don't want a really big uh, post-game uh, discussion here because how long that game was 67 minutes but want to see who did the highest hero damage and it is of course medusa but puck actually quite quite solidly in second place wow what a game let's have a look at the graph i mean to be honest that is quite an incredible graph because you're expecting to see the axes go way beyond 20,000 gold but they barely do 67 minutes in we've only just gone over 10,000 gold difference and most of those are free agonims just crazy. Um, here's your fun fact of the day. Wraith King never damaged Axe with Cloak of Flames. <laughs> Did he not? That's quite interesting. I guess Axe always that's, had BKB, uh, always dead. That's uh, um, that's an important information for all the fans. Yeah. There we go. That's the analysis we need. What was I doing? I forgot about the channel points. Oh, yes. Very important. 